Hey guys, there was a great opportunity this past weekend uh, set up in the Dow Futures and uh, the trade that I put on is still going on and I think there's still potential in it. Uh, in fact, I think there's a lot of potential in it, just don't trade it too big. Uh, so I'm going to take you through it. Um, over the past weekend, the Congress, they passed the bill of the, um, the tax reform and with that, the market gapped up. This is a daily chart of the Dow futures and you can see that uh, the market gapped up pretty big right here and um, and during that time when it gapped up uh, my trading style is to be a contrarian so when it's overbought I sell and when it's oversold I bought I buy uh, so that's exactly what happened I want to take you through it um, and just to show you where we are right now and kind of the thought process uh, that I have uh, when I'm in the trade and so um, as soon as uh, Flynn said that they were, he was going to testify against Trump we had this huge sell-off in the market and um, and then the market started to stabilize and bounce and as it started to bounce and it got close to uh, this area here this um, uh, resistance level here the high uh, I put in a sell order and so I sold it uh, right around here this area and as it retraced the market opened Sunday and when the market opened um, it broke through that stop and as it broke through that stop you can see that I had a buy order and I got stopped out uh, as I got stopped out it went all the way up to 24,536 and when it came down, I uh, put an order to sell with a stop at that high. Now, I normally don't do things like this, but this level that we're at was such, uh, this is such a crazy level. If you can see, like this is a 50 day moving average and we are, um, sheesh, we are like 1,500 points above the 50 day moving average. and. Uh, on the Bollinger Bands, we are uh, above even the two standard deviation uh, above those Bollinger Bands. So whenever you're up that high, it's just a screams short me. So that's what I did. I shorted it. And um, I normally don't short the contract straight out because it is a lot of money. Um, and I don't like to uh, trade that large, but I did um, this one time. And um, and you can see right here, it never got back up to that high and it started to fall, the price started to fall. And uh, as the price fell, um, I'm just holding that because I'm, I'm looking at it more on the daily chart. Um, and you can see the price action just going up and down, up and down. And then it's settling. Uh, near the lows of the day and you, you see this kind of action a lot where th there's an established low and as soon as it breaks that low um, a lot of people stops go off and, uh, and then you see this buying uh, but it didn't stop there it turned around and uh, broke through that low and normally when you have a second time that it breaks through a previous low so you see this false breakout it comes back up and the second time that it breaks through is the real deal um, and as it broke down uh, you can see it bounced a little bit um, and you can see there's that support level it kind of uh, comes back down there several times and then it breaks it and uh, and you can see that we're right around uh, this level here and um, I, I might cover that for a profit so anyway that's the trade and uh, if you want to still get in it, uh, it's good to get in. I probably wouldn't do a YM contract. I probably would do um, uh, trade the diamonds because it's much smaller. And um, if you trade the diamonds, you could do like um, the options on the diamonds and maybe uh, trade the calls, like sell the calls up at the 30 delta or 15 delta or whatever you want to do. But all right, uh, that was the opportunity. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want more of these kind of videos, I am thinking about doing trades in real time. So uh, if you uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, um, you can get real time updates on live trades 
um, that I, I do every day. All right. Um, take care. Peace.